Hey guys, this is Dr. Ron, your master vet. Sa araw na ito, pag-uusapan natin ang dapat natin gawin once you have a new pet at home. Maaring ito ay bigay o regalo sa inyo ng inyong magulang, ng inyong kapatid, ng inyong kasintahan, o ng inyong kaibigan. Or maaring ito ay binili nyo sa isang pet store or sa breeder. So ang iba sa inyo ay inuwi muna ito at doon muna magsistay for a week or more than a week. Yung iba naman ay pumupunta muna sa isang pet store para mabilhan ng pagkain, mabilhan ng matutulugan, mabilhan ng toy. Pero ang unang dapat natin gawin sa araw na yan ay dalhin ito sa pinakamalapit na veterinary clinic to check by a veterinarian. So what happens during the first vet visit ng pet? So pag nasa veterinary clinic kayo, the veterinarian will assist you and your pet. Dadalhin kayo sa examination room, kukunin yung pet, ilalagay sa examination table, and iwi-way to know kung obese or malnourished yung pet. And using a thermometer, i-insert ito sa anus to know the rectal temperature. In dog, the normal temp is 37.5 to 39.1, while in cat is 38 to 39.1. Then, i-examine yung eyes if there are presence of eye infection, kung may pamumula, uh, pamamaga, may pagmumuta, or may congenital defect. Then, i-examine din yung ears, kung may ear infection, kung may ear mites, or kung may amoy ito. Followed, i-examine yung nose, kung may cold, kung may nasal discharge, kasi kung meron, it's an indication na may respiratory infection yung pet. I-check din yung coat, kung dal ba siya, or kung shiny ba siya, or if there are presence of external skin parasites like uh, ticks and fleas yung skin titingnan kung may wound or kung may pamumula may skin allergy uh, i-check yung mouth and teeth yung oral cavity kung okay yung ipin uh, kung may amoy ba ito o wala then i-check yung feet kung wala bang problema dito, the way maglakad yung pet, and yung genitalia, kung babae o lalaki, o kung may problema dito. Then, using a stethoscope, i-oscultate yung lungs and heart to know if there are any abnormalities. Then, ipapalpate yung abdomen. Kung malaki ito, may chance na may intestinal worms kung kailangan i-deworm yung pet. Then, yung lymph nodes, yung kulane. If there's an enlargement ng kulane, it's an indication na may infection yung pet. So, it's very important for the veterinarian to know all of these things kasi uh, kung may problema, pwede niyang i-inform yung pet owners para makorek. So for the pet owners, uh, see to it na parati yung dala yung uh, medical records ng pet nyo or any health certificate because the veterinarian will ask if there are previous shots of vaccine and then deworming. Kasi kung wala, pwede niyang ibigay yan or pwede niyang i-reschedule. And see to it na Tinanong nyo yung pinagbilhan nyo or yung nagbigay sa inyo about sa history ng animals. So here are the few things that you can do to plan for a comfortable visit sa vet. Una, pwede kang makipaglaro sa aso mo. Pwede mo siyang ilakad before leaving for the vet. If your dog is, is small enough and if you have a cage at home, pwede mo siyang ilagay doon. Or if your dog is large, you need to provide a leash. Once nasa vet clinic ka, you need to keep your dog calm in the waiting area. Though your dog may be excited to meet other people or other animals, 
the best thing that you can do is to keep your dog on your lap or by your side or pwede mo siyang kausapin para ma-relax. When you get to the examination room, you need to ask the veterinarian if they can help holding your dog. So take your dog to the vet regularly to be weighed and check. The more your vet sees your dog, the veterinarian uh, will be able to address yung kailangan niya and the more comfortable your dog will be at the clinic. Pag parating nakikita ng dog yung vet, yung taste, nawawala yung takot na napumunta dito and you will create a connection between you and your veterinarian na tinatawag natin veterinarian client-patient relationship. And this kind of connection will only establish every time na dinadala nyo yung dog nyo sa vet. Be sure to ask your vet for advice on caring your pet's health at home, including proper nutrition, exercise, and grooming. Uh, take note that raising a dog can be one of the most rewarding experience in your life, but in so many ways, this can be one of the most terrifying experience as well. My advice to all the people out there na gustong mag-alaga ng pet sa bahay, aso or pusa man ito, be responsible and of course you should be financially and emotionally stable na you can provide anything na kailangan niya so good health care and proper nutrition, kinuha or aalagaan mo siya, hindi lang pet sa bahay, kinuha mo siya as a new member of your family. The way you treat your parents, yung kapatid mo, yung anak mo, dapat ganun ka rin sa kanya. And you should be aware of this. So hoping may napulutan kayong aral sa video na ito. At see you on my next vlog. This is Dr. Ron, your master vet, signing off. Good day and God bless all. Bye!